Hi, my name is Andy, and in today's video we're going to see if I can fix the problem that I'm having with the choke on my carburetor. Uh, when I first start the car, uh, I have to manage the throttle or babysit the throttle a little bit to get it to, to want to, to idle uh, when I first start it. And then once I do that for a minute or two, then it'll idle by itself and I shouldn't have to do that. And then also when I start driving, uh, like when I first start to go forward, the car wants to, to stutter or, or almost die and I have to flip the throttle before I can let the clutch out. And, do that for the first couple, two, three stop signs or stoplights, and uh, I think there's something wrong with the choke. So let's dig in here and see what we can find out. First thing we're going to want to do is take off this air filter so that we can get to the, the throttle linkage and the choke and everything. Get this out of the way. Okay, some of the things I'm noticing right off the bat is this. <laughs> okay, this is the ground wire for the electronic choke, but there's no there's no hot wire, um, so that's probably the first problem I'm having, that this thing's not even being activated. <laughs> well, there it is right there. Okay, so let's let's take this apart and, and see what else we can find out. All right, as I dig a little farther, I uh, notice that, see these tick marks here on the, on the choke uh, body? There's a tick mark that's on this cap, but <laughs> it's on the back side. This thing needs to be twisted like almost 180 degrees to get this tick mark up here with the front. So that's probably another problem that I'm having. So that shouldn't be... All right, we got more to do. So let's get this guy off of here. Um, let's take this whole cap off and see what's going on. Why this, why that's loose and what's going on here. Oh wow, we got all kinds of stuff going on here. All right. I don't want to lose that screw. Ah, don't drop that. Okay, oh gosh. This shouldn't be loose. It looks like this screw needs to be tightened right here in this this mechanism needs to be down inside. Okay, let's fix that. All right, we've got a couple of problems here. This, this needs to be tightened, but also this plunger system is not, it, this whole thing is loose. Look at that, that shouldn't move like that, and that should be moving this thing. But when I, yeah, okay, so, this guy needs to be down inside there. And we need to tighten this screw up. There. There, that's better. Oh yeah. Okay. I bet you that was most of our problem. So this, you can see this plunger system, or whatever that's called, <laughs> move up and down and this will rotate inside here. This button, this dimple, will fit inside that hole. So there's only one place for this to go. And this moves in this range. Okay, good deal, okay. So let's just make sure we got everything tightened up before we put this back together. got a spring in here and we're gonna want to catch this edge on this green part right here when I was talking before this is that tick mark see if you can see that 
right there. Um, that needs to go with these tick marks on the housing here. And before, this thing was sitting like, like this, and it needs to be more like that. But we need to catch this green part on the spring first. So do that, and then we'll rotate it in place. And as I do that, this was moving. So we'll put this in the middle for now. The metal tick mark on the plastic with the metal tick mark on there. And because this is in a new place, that's going to move this ground wire. We'll just put it right here. Just enough tension on this just to hold it in place. There's no reason to reef these things down. Now on this guy, make sure that this is, if you put it this way, it'll put tension on the plastic cap of the choke. And this last one's gonna be a little tricky because it's on the bottom side. Now, put that into place, tighten this down for now. So, yeah, that's much better. See how there's a, there's a spring action to it before, I could just flip it forth, back and forth, so that's definitely part of the problem. And this was in the wrong place. Now we need to get a hot lead for this um, so that we can use the electronic choke. Other than that, everything else looks pretty good. So I went ahead and wired up a new hot wire that I ran into the grommet here all the way along the side of the car and got everything tucked in. So now we just need to hook it up. For now I'm gonna use the stator terminal on the alternator um, because it's a switched lead. It'll only be active when the car is running because I don't want this choke running off a 12 volt source when the car's just sitting there. Um, so we're gonna take this nut off this terminal and put this lead on there and then we'll put the lead on the other end on the choke. Alright, so now just tuck that in there and this wire is good to go. Let's do the other end. Okay, so here's the other end of the wire that I made. Just put it into some loom just to clean it up a little bit. Let's see, let's go here. I'll just connect it on the positive terminal. So there, now we've got a hot wire to this choke. And what that's going to do is it's going to supply electricity to this choke in which will heat up that coil in there. And that coil, as it heats up, will move that little blue lever. And that will adjust our choke mechanism as the car warms up. Um, other than that, I think we're good to go. Let's, uh, let's put the air filter back on and uh, let's give it a shot. Well, that was an easy fix. That's a, that was a really easy fix compared to some other stuff I've done already. Um, I know it didn't seem like it in that starting of the car, but uh, normally I have to modulate that throttle a bunch to get it to just catch and go. And I just tried my hardest just to stay off the throttle just to see if it was starting on its own. It took a couple tries, but it's like 20 degrees right now. It's cold. Um, 
So, uh, but other than that, this this whole setup is much. I mean, gosh, we as we saw that there was no hot wire for the choke. The choke cap was on 180 degrees from where we need to be. Um, the, the choke mechanism inside the cap was not. The, the screw was loose. It wasn't making. I mean, it wasn't working. I mean, no wonder I was having a problem before. So, <laughs> I'm glad we got that fixed. Um, yeah, this is a much better. That was an easy fix. I like those ones. Um, anyways, uh, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you in the next one. Why oh, is cold in here? Woo. Woo. Well, that's not right. Don't drop it. Don't drop it. Don't drop this nut. Don't drop it. This this is dumb. I need a new one of these. Holy cow, it's cold.